recording now. Okay, I'd like to call the city council meeting of December 17th, 2020 to order. Roll call, please. Alderman Sorrentino. Alderman Jacob. Here. Alderman Woods. Alderman Sosmarski. There. Alderman R. Wesley. Alderman Eugene Wesley. Eugene's here. Eugene? You're on mute, Eugene. Mm -hmm. that was a I'm, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I didn't get something. Hey, Alderman Go. Who? <laughs> who? Alderman who? Catalano. Oh, Catalano. Here. <laughs> Alderman Messina. Here. And you, Mayor Santa. Police. Here. Art Woods just joined as well, too. Art Art is here? He just joined in. Okay. Art is here. Okay. All right. So we have a quorum. How about nobody else, right? All right. Please stand, join the Pledge of Allegiance. Tony's got the flag for us. Flag. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag, flag. To the flag. Of the United States of America, America. 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 To, the Republic. to the Republic for which it stands, which stands. One, nation. one nation, one nation, one nation. God. God. under God, under God, visible, visible. Liberty. Liberty. liberty, and justice, and justice. And justice. And justice. for all. I don't think we can ever be in a fight. <laughs> We'll never make a synchronized team, that's for sure. Well, that's it's all time sure. delayed. Everybody's talking everybody's talking about that. All right. Next, I need a motion to approve the minutes of December. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Any comments, corrections? Okay, roll call, please. I'm sorry, who who first? Mike. I did much this first. And, and Jacob was second. Okay, thank you. Alderman Sorrentino. I mean, Alderman Jacob. <laughs> yes. Alderman Woods. Oh, yes. Alderman Sosnarski. Yes. Alderman Eugene Wesley. Yes. Alderman Catalano. Yes. Alderman Messina. Yes. Okay, that passes. Uh, I forgot to read in accordance with the governor's executive orders, the Illinois Department of Public Health regulations and the Centers for Disease Control Guidance. The city has determined that in-person meetings or meetings conducted under the purview of the Open Meetings Act is not practical or prudent. Therefore, remote participation is permitted. Sorry about that. Do any citizens wish to be heard? Do we have any citizens or Comments suggest that need to be heard? Uh, we received nothing uh, as of four o'clock, and I don't believe there's anybody with any comments right now either. Okay. Uh, I don't have any written communications today. Under Mayor's report, on behalf of the entire city council, the city <clears throat> staff, we want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas <clears throat> and a happy and healthy New Year. And, and definitely better 2021. Merry Christmas, everyone. Mr. Merman's Merry message uh, Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, as uh, this is the last meeting of 2020, I'd like to take a moment to recognize city staff for their hard work this year. In the many years in Wooddale that I have experienced, um, I've experienced a culture of discipline, flexibility, dedication, and cooperation by Wooddale staff. That culture served us well in the face of 2020 and the challenge of COVID-19. I have all the confidence that Wooddale will overcome the difficulties in the moment and become stronger as a unit moving from the lessons we've learned. Rest assured that we will do all we can to continue providing the necessary services our residents deserve, but doing it in a way with maximum protection possible to all our staff members and their families. There is no doubt that this crisis is not over yet but it makes me proud to see how smoothly we have been able to roll with the changes to continue to service the residents of Wooddale. Long-term projects continue to progress and daily tasks get completed even in the face of a pandemic. 
this happens only because of their dedication. I would also like to thank the city council for their unbelievable leadership during 2020, which makes all of our jobs much easier. I couldn't imagine a more supportive and collaborative group. Finally, I wish to address the residents of Wooddale. On behalf of all city staff, we thank you for your continued patience with us as we all work through these difficult times together. Rest assured that city services will always be provided and we are here from you. In closing, on behalf of all staff, we wish the city council and all Wooddale residents a safe and happy holiday season. That concludes my report. Here, here. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you, Jeff, staff. Next, Nicely consent done. agenda. We have six items. If there's no objections, Mike, I know you had a couple of questions. Did you want to pull something off? This is the time if you want to pull uh, something off. Yeah, no, I had a communication problem with the phone and the link up last time. Uh, since that time, I have had it uh, taken care of. I appreciate it. Okay. All right, no problem. So then I'll need a motion. I make, make the motion approved. Second. Second. I thought Peter wanted to. Peter, you had Peter an objection? Had... No, no, I said second. Oh, I thought you had an objection for last week, too. Oh, I, I, I found out my answer. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, we both did. Right, okay. We have a motion and a second. Roll call, please. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman Eugene Wesley? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Messina? <clears throat> yes. Okay, and that passes. Now we'll need a motion to approve the items on the agenda. Item number one, a resolution approving an agreement between the city of Wooddale and Kiosk Tree Services for the Parkway Tree Pruning, pruning Program, four year and not to achieve $151,045.40. Item number two, a resolution approving an intergovernmental agreement between the city of Wooddale in DuPage County for installation and maintenance of folding stop signs at signalized intersections at county highways. Item number three, a resolution approving a quit claim deed for the conveyance of parcels EO-1B-12-912.01, EO-1B-12-913.01, EO-1B-12-917.01 and EO-1B-12-919.01 to Illinois State Pool Highway Authority. Item number four, resolution accepting the fiscal year 2020 annual audit report from Sickage LLP. Item number five, a resolution authorizing the city of Wooddale to enter into an insurance agreement with Travelers Insurance for city general liability, employee benefit liability, auto insurance, city property, and crime insurance. And item number six, a resolution authorizing the city of Wooddale to enter into an insurance agreement with Illinois Public Risk for workers' compensation insurance. Do I have a motion? So move. Second. second. Okay, we have a motion to second. Roll call, please. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman Eugene Wesley? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. And that passes. Next, committee chairman reports, planning and zoning. Alderman Jacob? Uh, no report, Mayor. Thank you. Public health, safety, and judiciary. Alderman uh, Sismarski, Alderman Sorrentino's out. I don't, I don't, no report. I don't believe there was. I don't believe no, no report. report, Mayor. No report, Thank Mayor. You. Thank you. Public works, Alderman Catalano. Yes, I have three, Mayor. Go ahead. First one is an ordinance attending the city of Wooddale small uh, wireless tele uh, telecommunication facility regulations in chapter 16 of the municipal code of the city of Wooddale. That is my motion. Second. Second. Okay, any questions on this? Roll call. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. 
Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman Eugene Wesley? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. And that passes. And next is a, a resolution approving a master poll attachment agreement with the Chicago SSMSA limited partnership doing business as Verizon Wireless. That is my motion. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? Mayor, I have a question if you don't mind. <clears throat> Go ahead, Alderman Wesley. So is this the one that they attach, all these other people could attach to this antenna? Who wants to take that, Mr. Lang or Mr. Mermis, Mr. Bond? This is Director Lang, Mayor, I can take that one. Go ahead. Go ahead. So the, the co-location co uh, stipulations are actually set forth within the, the our code that was recently updated as part of the first item. This is simply the agreement that would be necessary for Verizon to attach to any poles within the city. All right, do I, may I do a follow up? Yes, go ahead. So it has been in the, in the past that whoever attached to our towers and that with the phone stuff, there's a charge. What is that charge that we charge them for? I believe per state law now, and I think even the federal might have passed something. It's like 200 or $270. I don't, does anybody know the exact Mr. number? Mr. Bond has the answer. Per, per year. Go ahead, Mr. Bond. Yeah, I believe it's uh, 270. I'll just double check. But yeah, it's uh, all of the municipalities were starting to independently regulate these carriers. Uh, and they got the federal government involved so to, uh, to avoid that so that it wouldn't, uh, obviously that cost would be passed on to the end users. So we're restricted in, in, in many of the things we can do, including that, uh, that charge. We still uh, have an application fee and, uh, to go through the process of it, but that is, uh, that is set forth by, uh, by uh, law, the rental use of the polls, uh, $200, uh, 200 per, uh, per each wireless unit facility. Which they attach to. Are we are we allowed are we allowed to uh, up that fee in any way? We are not. Okay. The reason was like Mr. Bond said, because municipalities were going to charge more, and they would uh, charge the end user more. Of course, all of our all of everybody's cell phone bills, I'm sure, went down after they lowered it to two seventy. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not. Okay. Any, any other questions? No. Alderman Jacob. Jacob. Go ahead, Alderman Jacob. Uh, question for uh, Mr. Lang. Um, do we have uh, now with this? Don't they need actually more of them? So I know it's a smaller fee, but they have to put more of those uh, devices out there than they currently do. Do they not? Go ahead, Mr. Lang. You're you're saying Alderman in when being compared to, to 4G cell structures or? Yeah, cause I mean, those are a lot bigger and uh, big towers or these are small and they probably have to put them more, like on uh, more poles and things than they, they did in the past. Right, which is why we established certain criteria uh, such as uh, the minimum distance between cell towers allowed throughout the city. So to answer your question, yes, there will be more antenna uh, but there are limitations as to where they can put them and how many at each location. And, and the only reason I'm saying that is because of the fee. It's you know smaller fee, but there's going to be more of them out there. So yeah, and they still won't get close to the fee they pay now. Just so <laughs> we're clear. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Any other questions? All right. Roll call. Alderman Jacob. Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Sosmarski? Yes. Alderman Eugene Wesley? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. And Alderman Messina? Yes. And that passes. And last, I have uh, approval of the final payment of Brothers Asheville Pavement Inc for the year ending uh, 2021 Capital Road Program in the amount of $16,920.53. That is my motion. Do I have a second? Randy, was that you? Yeah. Okay. Question. Go ahead, Alderman Wesley. Is all the punch list stuff done on those? Mr. Lane? 
Thank you, Mayor. Yes, Alderman, to answer your question, all the punch list items have been completed. And they completed, and they completed on the, the timeline that they signed the contract with? Yes, Mr. They Lane. There was yes. Okay, yes, thank, you. thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Roll call, please. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Sosmarski? Yes. Alderman Eugene Wesley? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. And, and Alderman Lucino? Say it again. Alderman. Okay, yes, Messina, yes. Okay. That Does that conclude your report? Uh, that's right, Mayor, that includes my report. Thank you. Thank you. Finance and Administration, Alderman Woods? No report, Mayor. Thank you. Under other business, airport noise, Alderman Jacob? No report, Mayor. Thank you. Stormwater Commission, Alderman Eugene Wesley? No report, Mayor, because we haven't been able to have put together a meeting. Thank you. Uh, approval list of bills, Alderman Woods. Yeah, we uh, we don't have a list of bills. What? <laughs> nope. Everything was free this time. That's nice. Wow. I, I don't have it. I know. No problem. I'm sure everybody. Everybody's getting paid, but uh, there's a formality. We don't have a list today. Right. No problem. Okay, we have no executive session, no items to be referred. I need a Mayor. motion to adjourn. Go Close. ahead. Can, can, we have a, can we have the list of bills sent out tomorrow? When they get them, they will. we will get them, yes. We have Made a motion. motion. Yeah, who's that? Anybody second? Second. Alderman Woods. Second. Okay, and we need a roll call. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Alderman Sismarski? Yes. Alderman Eugene Wesley? Yes. Alderman Catalano? <clears throat> yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. And we're adjourned. Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy new year to everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas.